Hello, I'm Mark shipman Mueller. I'm the product manager for the Alexa at ARI, and I welcome you to NAB 2016. Now, the Alexa right now is the workhorse of the industry and a hugely successful product for us. And part of the reason for that is the future-proof architecture that we've built the Alexa around. That has allowed us to come up with 11 major software updates for the Alexa, and we're now in a second hardware upgrade, which of course is the Alexa SXT. Now for the SXT, we have three new features we'd like, I'd like to talk about right now. The first one being some new recording formats. The Alexa SXT is capable of 14 different recording formats. So for any kind of production, any budget, any lens, any need, we have a specific recording format. And of those eight, we have already taken from the XT, and then there are six new recording formats. Two we've already announced, ProRes 4K UHD and ProRes 4K Cine. So within the Alexa, we can do an up-res from the 3.4K sensor to 4K UHD or to 4K Cine. So you can record a 4K image with the Alexa SXT. Now there are four new formats we haven't announced previously. The first two are formats where we shoot with anamorphic lenses and then the camera does the de-squeeze in camera so you get a really, really nice file. And that is for 2K DCI or a 4K DCI deliverable. So 2K or 4K anamorphic de-squeeze in camera with ProRes, that'll make shooting anamorphic a lot less expensive with the Alexa SXT. Then the next format is ProRes OpenGate. OpenGate previously was only available in Airy Raw, and now we also have it available in ProRes. In fact, all recording formats in the SXT are available in Airy Raw as well as ProRes. And the last one is Airy Raw 3.2K. I personally find that very exciting because that's a format that has a relatively large area on the sensor that is still being covered by most Airy Super 35 lenses, and we can reach 120 frames a second. So that's very, very cool. So 14 recording formats, those are the four new ones. So the next feature is the Airy Look Management. The Airy Look Management consists of three parts. There's a new look file, there is a software library that allows third parties to work with our system, and then there's a new Mac software called the Airy Color Tool. Now what can you do with the Airy Look Management? The first thing is very exciting, we can do high dynamic range monitoring on the set. And using that is very simple. My five-year-old nephew could do that. You go to the camera, in the color menu, push the color button from the look file menu. You select a look file that is set up for your high dynamic range monitor. So here we have one for a Rec 2020 monitor with a 1000 nits PQ curve, and that's it. Now you're ready to do some monitoring in high dynamic range. That's the first thing you can do. The second thing, you can do live grading on the set. And this is a feature that we already have a lot of industry support now. Five vendors that already support the live grading feature on the camera. Those are Pomfret Live Grade, Colorfront Onset Live, Filmlight Prelight, Codex Live, and the third one I forgot, last one I forgot, oh, it's Technicolor DP Lights, of course. We have all those here on the, set, on the booth in order to control the color of this camera. Now, the metadata that's being generated, the look, will get automatically combined with the Airy Raw or the ProRes file. And that means when you make dailies, those looks, the same look that the director and the DP saw on the set, can get automatically applied to the dailies. And that is also being supported by all the major software manufacturers. We have Resolve, Colorfront OSD, Codex Production Suite, Filmlight Daylight, and Pomfret Silverstack all already support this feature. And last but not least, we have editing. Editing with the look. The three major nonlinear editors, Avid Media Composer, Apple Final Cut Pro X, and Adobe Premiere Pro support this. So when you take a ProRes file generated by the Alexa SXT into one of these editing programs, it will automatically apply the look file, and the editor will see the same footage that you saw on the dailies or that the director and the DP saw on the set. So this is very cool. This is a tight end-to-end -end color management and look management that is part of the Alexa SXT. So the Alexa SXT has four independent monitoring paths in the camera. One is being used for the viewfinder, and three come out here as the three mon outs. Now what would you use that for? Imagine you have the viewfinder for the camera operator. You want to see the look that the DP has decided on. Then you have another monitor output for the camera assistant who wants to see a clean Rec. 709 image 
but the camera system may want to see all the status information around the image. Then you have your DIT. Your DIT wants to see a clean log C signal. They don't want to see anything else. And then you have the director's monitor, which may be a REC 2020 monitor with a look applied. And the Alexa SXT can do all that. All those four monitoring paths can have completely different images set up, which gives you great flexibility on the set. So that's it for the Alexa SXT. You can find more information at the ARI website. And I'll see you at the next NAB. Thank you very much.